I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys. It is morning of day one of this West Coast tour. I'm in Dana Point, California. Got about three hours of sleep after 20 hours of driving. And we are here at Dana Point Harbor. Uh, and we're heading out today for calico bass and maybe some leopard sharks. One of my absolute favorite things to do is go for new species and especially in new fisheries I've never been in. So uh, calico bass and leopard sharks are both new to me, so I'm excited. Water looks relatively calm and luckily today we're doing a dock launch. So no need to go through the surf, which again on three hours of sleep, got kind of music to my ears. And here we are, time to get loaded up. All right, so we're launching here at Dana Point Jet Ski. Tim, the owner here, is good friends with Mike Ponce, which makes him a friend of mine. And while kind of their bread and butter is jet ski rentals, jet ski sales, stuff like that, uh, they're also one of the top Hobie dealers here in California. So uh, today we're gonna be taking the Hobies out and hopefully getting on some fish. We'll see. So today our primary target is going to be calico bass and basically we're going to be fishing the kelp beds. The sea lions like to hang out in it and so do the calico bass and really what we're looking for is current. Uh, we want that water to be moving, laying that kelp down, that's when they really get fired up and start eating. And so today we're going to be fishing primarily with artificials but just in case we got a couple live wells and we're about to pick up some live sardines and that'll be kind of plan B if we can not get them to hit the artificials. Yeah, got the scavengers, they're gonna take care of it. So basically for tackle, we're using essentially just big large mouth bass tackle. And this is like a swim jig essentially, but it's heavy. It feels like maybe about two ounces, bright colors. He said orange and yellow are gonna work really well for calico bass. But basically we're just gonna be throwing this around the kelp beds, letting it sink some, kind of varying our retrieve until we start getting some bites, figure out what they want today. Fish on! Nice! Just what we're out here looking for. My first calico bass. Definitely no monster. They get much bigger than that. They get bigger than largemouth. But I'll tell you what, I've caught a million largemouth about that size. This guy fought a lot harder than that. And this is my heaviest bass rod that I own. What a cool looking fish. Just beautiful. It's one more species knocked off the bucket list. Now I just gotta find a little bit bigger one. Want this guy on his way. Nice, man, I missed them twice. Oh, something's following it. Two, two other fish were following this one. One looked pretty big, man. Yeah, this one's a little better. Not much bigger, but a little bit bigger. They are hard fighting fish, I'll tell you what. I just missed him twice, and he just kept coming back after it. And finally, on the third bite, I was able to hook him. Uh, poor execution on my part, but luckily this guy was so relentless, I got him in the boat anyways. Thanks for being a trooper, buddy. So Mike just told me that all the great white sightings around here happen exactly where we're going. He tried to make me feel better telling me that they're mostly juveniles, but a juvenile great white could be 9, 10 feet. Uh, I've heard stories of guys getting breached by great whites. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. 
Kind of got my head on a swivel right now. We got some sea lions up here hanging out on this buoy. The guys tell me that these things are worse than sharks when it comes to stealing your fish off your line. Let's go get a little closer, check them out. Yeah, they got teeth. Pretty cool to be able to get so close to them. They're not worried about me at all. One of the advantages of being in a kayak, you're not so disruptive to nature. You kind of just blend in. I got a couple bites and my tail's gone. Fish on, he must have hit it on the way down because as soon as I came tight, he was on there. Uh, calico. It's not a lot bigger, but bigger than the first two. Been catching all these calicos on this kelp assassin by Reeves Lures. Fish on. Some kind of bass. Yeah, it's a little calico. No. Sand bass? Sand bass. That's what you call them, sand bass? That's a sand bass. So this is one of the other types of bass out here. This is a sand bass. Uh, they're kind of mixed in with these calicos typically. Uh, don't get real big, but they definitely get bigger than this. And he says you can typically distinguish these. They've got these vertical bars instead of the calicos, which are kind of spotted or mottled. They're pretty fish. They're good to eat too, huh? I don't think I'm going to keep this little guy, but he says these are good to eat too. I'll let him go. Find another day. And there he goes. All right, so I've caught a couple bass uh, on artificials. Uh, I've got some of these live sardines. I noticed some of them are dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one out. And basically the way we're rigging this is a Carolina rig. I mean, just like you would use for largemouth bass fishing with a lure, you basically gotta wait, then you gotta swivel in a leader, and I'm gonna have that live sardine here. So this weight will be sitting on the bottom, and that live sardine will be kind of swimming right above it. this guy through the nose and set him out so the wind picked up quite a bit so we're gonna head into shore uh, get a little bit closer to shore there's a, a big rock wall that can get us out of the wind and we're gonna drop baits down for leopard sharks see if we can't catch something a little bit bigger Fish on! Fish on. Feels like a shark, so uh, they're telling me it's a leopard probably. I don't think it's huge, but uh, never know until you see it. Woo! It's making some pretty good runs, man. Yeah! It's a little leopard. leopard. It's not big, yeah. <laughs> nope, that's what you wanted. <laughs> it's not that big as he manhandles me. <laughs> nice. First leopard shark. Yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, he's got the line in his mouth. Be careful, I'm gonna lose him. You chilling, bro? Chilling for a sec? Just twist it all up in it. <laughs> Seems uh, flexible. He's all wrapped up in this now. Up in this. Stop, stop, stop. I mean, you can like bite his tail probably, right? Yeah. Chill, bro. Oh. <laughs> 
about to be a viral video. <laughs> All right, beautiful colors. Really pretty fish. The fun fight, this thing was writhing all around. Made some good runs actually for its size, especially. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that, but uh, it's a fun fight. All right, well that's two species knocked off the list today. First calico bass, first leopard shark. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and then uh, I think we might call it a day. Whew, fun fight and a beautiful fish. Oh, what a fun day here in Dana Point for the first day of this month on trip. I don't think it could have gone much better. Uh, knocked off two new species for me, which is my favorite thing in the world to do. Calico bass and leopard shark. Uh, didn't get a monster of either one, but it's a fun day on the water figuring out a new fishery and what a way to kick off this trip. For now, I think we're gonna head in, get a little grub. I never ate breakfast, so I'm struggling. Excited for what the rest of this trip's gonna bring. On the next episode of Field Trips, I head down to the infamous La Jolla near San Diego to meet up with Kevin Nakata from Hobie. We'll be heading offshore in search of one of the strongest fighting fish on the west coast, California yellowtail. Uh, we got about a two hour pedal to get out to where the yellowtail are. The giant mola mola or sunfish right here. He's massive. Yeah! Fish out. Almost wrapped me around that buoy, that was close. Strong fish. Woo!